Okay, everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to make ammonium perchlorate composite propellant from table salt and other easy to get ingredients. It's a pretty long process, so it might be several videos, but well, oh, there's my cat basil. To start out, we're going to need some electrodes. I've got platinum coated titanium anodes, an anode and a cathode. Uh, I got these from pretty cheap from a site online I thought was a scam. I tested them, they're authentic, so I'll leave that in the description. Um, a hot plate would be nice to have. We're going to need a jar to actually do the cell in. This is what uh, that's going to go inside of here. We're going to need a power supply. This one goes up to 5 amps and 30 volts. And then we'll salt and water and a scale, so let's get to it. Okay, I've got my water spinning here. I haven't actually dissolved anything inside of it yet. So we're gonna go ahead and get the scale ready. This holds about 800 milliliters of solution. Um, the beaker holds 500. So for every liter, uh, this is a little bit colder than room temperature. Probably dissolve 360 something grams of salt a liter. Since you're not going quite up that much, you should probably shoot for 330 grams. So I'll go ahead and pour that out now. Okay, we got to 334 grams. I'll just go ahead and start pouring that in here now. It won't all fit inside this beaker, but that is okay. I'll go ahead and throw the last 100, 200 milliliters into I need 300 milliliters into this jar here until we get it all to dissolve. Then we'll pour it in the jar and I'll show you from there. All right, we've got our eight or 900 milliliters of saturated salt solution in here now. Uh, it's always good to make a little bit extra. I've got a little bit more here and I'm gonna make some more later. That way as evaporation occurs, you can continue to top it off. And that'll help with uh, um, concentration at the end of the the first run we're trying to pull our chlorine out. So now we can go ahead and take our lid that we have, just a two a anode and a cathode, and put it on here and screw it on. Oh, sorry, I got a little bit, a bit sick. Okay, so we got that, and then go ahead and hook it up on the floor. Just out. Stain this anymore, something goes wrong. Take the power supply. And connect the anode. It's good to, if both of your anode and cathodes are the same, it's good to alternate them every few weeks or so to keep one from getting completely worn down. But if you're anode is platinum and your cathode is something like graphite then just keep it on the platinum one another thing i've heard that people have done is to ph control their chlorate cell for about 30 something percent higher efficiency in production i have tried that several times but i don't think it's for the amateur chemist so when you put the hydrochloric acid in the cell to balance the pH. Hydrochloric acid is the best one. There's a few other things you can put in there too. It puts off a lot of chlorine, like a lot, a lot of chlorine, chlorine gas. And it's not really healthy to breathe, especially if you try to keep balancing it while it's in the middle of producing. The hydrochloric acid actually reacts with the sodium or potassium chlorate, in this case, sodium chlorate. And it does like help produce it if you consistently keep it at that pH, but throwing it in every now and again just puts off so many noxious fumes and it destroys some of the chlorate. It, it doesn't feel very worth it to me. Maybe if you can find a way to do it. Uh, when I used to do it, I had like a little chlorine trap right here. It was like a tube that would go down into a little glass container I had. Uh, this room is really cold, so it didn't really eat the glass that much, but it was sodium hydroxide in a glass container, and so it would bubble through and take most of the chlorine out of it. But 
it's just a lot of effort. You have to uh, constantly keep measuring it with like a pH reader. Yeah, I don't recommend it, but it, work, it works totally fine without doing it. So that's what I'm going to do here for now.